You are? Yeah. Well, today, we're going to have a very exciting gangbang. Yes, sir. We're going to beat the gangbang record set last time and go for even more men this time. Not that I'm going to be doing it, but uh, we have Jasmine St. Clair, a very attractive dark-skinned young lady in this lovely Hawaiian tropical setting with your lovely Hawaiian tropical host wearing a fairly decent Hawaiian tropical, don't get the sneakers, you cocksucker, uh, outfit. So just stay tuned. We're going to give you a lot of guys, embarrass the fuck out of them, and see how well they perform. If they're like this or like this. We're going to find out in just a little while. Stay tuned. Here's where it's all going to take place. There are going to be guys lined halfway down the block. How many times do you think you can pop? How many times today? What do you think? Three. Three. Like your attitude. When did you last have sex? <laughs> uh, it's very important to keep in mind that, that the last gangbang was cut a little bit short because Annabelle Chong said that the guy's fingernails were bothering her. So John T. Bone, with his incredibly in intelligent sense of what to do, <laughs> got, a makeup, uh, got a, a manicurist to file down these guys' hands. Actually, you, you both are very... Are you guys married? Now, how would you feel if she was going to be in line with a bunch of girls doing, let's say, Rocco or Peter North or Lord knows me. If she was a line of girls, how would, would you get jealous if she was doing another guy? I like his attitude. <laughs> So did you tell all your friends back in Austria what you were going to America for? Did you tell them you were going to do a porno movie? They know it. They yeah. know it? And what do they think? Well, they have said, uh, why I can't go to America? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that Jasmine's going to break your record? Well, we'll see. I'm curious, too. <laughs> were you sore after the last record? Huh? Well, um, I was sore because, um, guys came out without manicures, but you guys have manicures, don't you? That's what you learned. If the fingernails hurt more, she can, get, she can get plowed in the behind from today till eternity. But she hates fingernails, so dicks are fine, correct? Yep, dicks are fine. Dicks are great. They roll. Now, this is essentially what's going to happen. Um, for those of you who were here last year, Annabelle Chung is here. She's going to be around. She'll say hi. She'll sign some autographs. She's just here to see what's going on. There are block bluffers here who are in makeup, getting dressed. They'll be coming out. They'll be amongst you. What we do when we get started, this is the basic area that you guys will be in. You'll be going up five at a time, so we keep the whole energy of the gangbang going. Um, as we go through the day, obviously your function is to go up there as many times as you really want to go up there as many times as you can go up there. The point here is to break the record. How's it going? Early birds. Hey, guys. Oh, fuck. I didn't hear anything that sounded like a hello. Wait, let me try one more time. Hey, dickheads. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello, Uncle Ronnie. No, okay. No need, to, no need for that. No need for that. Okay, how many of you guys... This is, I just got to ask this because it's very important. How many of you guys had sex last night? Good. Good. Dick. You're not supposed to... I'm saying it helps. Aren't you on the wrong line? Okay. No, no it's okay. Uh, you did. I uh, see, like, you know, you're more powerful if, you know, you hold back a little bit, you know. How many guys is your first time ever having Nookie on camera? I had a feeling. How many guys are nervous? Don't you fucking lie. How many guys are nervous? You should be, because I was fucking petrified my first time. Eighteen goddamn years ago, before half of you were born. <laughs> anyway, it's a lot of fun because you got a gorgeous girl. And the advantage of being here early is you guys are going to go first, you see? <laughs> So the guys after you're going to go, oh, jeez, oh, what have they left for me? No, it's not quite like that, because we're going to have lots of towels. It'll be a very comfortable situation, you know? You guys feel free to talk. Are you guys buddies came here with a few friends? Ah, you know what I'm Where are you guys from? Are anyone from, uh, who's the furthest away? San Diego. Yell it? Oh. San Diego. San Diego. Oh, where would you come from? New Jersey. New Jersey? 3,000 miles. Let me tell you something. Two months ago. He wants Jasmine St. Clair is worth it. Any of you guys? Well, on the gangbang last time. Rep yeah. oh, I've got some repeats here. Who's here? How'd you oh, yeah, of course. How'd you like it? Wonderful. She was good. When you okay, when she, I was, I was Annabelle Chong. She may be here today as well. You know, of course, that you lucky bastards get other girls who are going to be helping you out, 
posing, posing naked, maybe kissy, touchy. I'm not sure exactly what, but you guys will be having a nice time. Because that's the important thing is everyone's here to have a nice time, you know? Who are you guys from? New Jersey? San Diego? What else we got? Portland. Long Beach. Portland, Oregon. Long Beach. Long Beach, California. Not too far. What, what, what? Yeah, what? Miami. Miami. How'd you hear about it? Uh, actually, I was reading a newspaper and it was in there. Ah, read, read newspaper. Hey, listen. All kidding aside. Uh, have you guys seen what, uh, what Jasmine St. Clair looks like? Yeah. yeah I met her. That, is that not a good looking girl? Oh, yeah. Almost every guy in the porn business loves working with Jasmine. This is no lie. Loves working with Jasmine St. Clair. That's why there may even be some of the regulars coming down here because they just like working with her. Because she's gorgeous. She's dark skinned. She's exotic. <laughs> so this is actually kind of a fun thing, you know, But you're hoping it will be. And later on, I'll introduce some of you guys individually. The important thing is if at first you don't succeed, Try, try again. That's right. You know, as the, the girl will say, if you don't succeed, she'll just succeed. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Nothing. Anyway, it'll be fun. We'll talk to you guys a little later on. But first of all, there's nobody, uh, just do me one little favor. Because it's supposed to be a fun event. I mean, you guys are here for fun, all right? Just, let me see. This group here first. Let's see a smile. Not bad. What do you think of their acting ability, huh? Not bad. Two dentures. Okay. This section here, let's see a smile. Come on, is it? <laughs> she smiled too. Very good. Okay, fine. Listen, guys, if Jasmine St. Clair can't make it, this thing lady over here is going to take her place. <laughs> 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 My boyfriend's going bad fucking chance, Jeremy. <laughs> Actually, you have a what brings you here? Ah, she must be an actress because her legs are in a cast. Ah, come on, folks. <laughs> Don't she's good. Worse. Okay. Actually, what, what, ha what happened there? I dislocated my Actually, knee okay. playing softball. Oh, what happened? I dislocated my knee playing softball. Uh, now you're with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. That should be <laughs> So you're obviously in an open relationship, and you're going to watch him and get a root for him? Obviously. Now, are you actually maybe help him along in case he's having a little bit of trouble? Me? No, that's what the fluffers are for. Any guy here, if his girlfriend found out, or wife had found out, she'd kick your fucking ass. A few more nods. How many guys are going to be covering your face while you're fucking? <laughs> How many guys here with a show of hands are hoping to God your wife doesn't rent the tape? <laughs> All right, well, how many guys here have the support of their girlfriends or wives? Oh, very nice, okay. Like, of course, this case of it. Stop bragging, we know. <laughs> Two hands up. All right, listen. Who's your lot of luck? I'll talk to you guys individually later on. But try to smile in the meanwhile, you know. Because, again, this is a fun event. There's going to be food later. Jasmine's going to come out later, you know. So, Jazz, oh, no shit. Yeah, very soon. And you guys are gonna go first. Um, all right. And again, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not raging powerful in the beginning, many, many more chances. Relax. Go to the end of the line. Go back to the seat. Have some food. Go back. There is no pressure. And you also find that it's a lot easier when there's a group of people and than when it's just one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of guys in the porn business have a lot more trouble when they're beginners and it's a one-on-one -on -one scene. Because the pressure's on you. The camera's right on you. Like this, see? Very scary. <laughs> get that thing up. Come on, we're losing. We're losing daylight. Come on, get that thing up. <laughs> whereas, whereas if there's a bunch of guys, there's less pressure. Because if you're not hard, just back away, let the other guys do their thing, and there you go. So it's not as tough as you may think. All right? We're going to talk to you later. Okay, guys? Thanks, Uncle Ryan. The hell? Thanks, guys. How does it feel coming to a gangbang? Getting your nails manicured. Oh my god, the doctor's office or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're ticking like a man. I appreciate it. How do you feel getting a manicure? Well, you're here to you're here to have sex with a beautiful girl, and you're getting manicured. My life is hard. You know, it's uh, setting me a little too relaxed right now, Ron. But uh, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good overall, and I'm really looking forward to this event. Now, did you have sex the night before last night? Well, uh, with myself for a little while, but aside from that, no. You didn't pop, did you? No, I did not. I saved it up for her. Smart man. How do you feel getting a manicure when you come here to meet Jasmine St. Clair? That was the first time I've ever had it done. Good luck with this guy. <laughs> you never got a manicure in your entire never, life? Never, never had a manicure, no. But someone cut your nails, obviously. Well, I cut them myself sometimes. <laughs> uh, how does it feel? Oh, different. I don't like it that much. It's kind of exactly, actually, it's kind of relaxing, like he said. It's kind of an executive feeling, you know, like uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, guys being manicured. Uh, you know, yeah. just, just something new. Different. How do you feel doing possibly 300 guys' nails? Under stress. <laughs> Are you saying to yourself, why the fuck did I take this job? 
<laughs> no, no. It's okay. I'll take it all in stride and meet the new people and do their nails. I like your attitude. Suppose some of the guys ask if you could do their toes as well. I don't think I have time for that today. <laughs> okay, do you know why you're cutting the guys? Get a shot of her face. See if we can embarrass the eyes out of this young lady. She's so cute. Listen, I don't mean to embarrass you, but... That's no, okay. Do you know why you're cutting these guys' nails? Yes, I do. Why? Um, because they're... They get wrong and uncomfortable. They, they get in the way. You want them to be clean and neat. In the way of what? In the way of... They, they poke you. Where are these fingers supposed to be going? Um... <laughs> She thought she was here on a, she thought she was on a set of a Disney film. <laughs> it's when they diddle, huh? Uh, yeah. When they insert it into a young lady's yeah orifice, correct? Right. So now they'll be clean and they won't hurt, right? Right. Well, we are glad you're here. What is the name of your make of your manicure salon? Michael Joseph Fury. Michael Joseph Fury. And Tarzana. Well, this will hopefully be very good advertisement for the guy. Those of you who watch the tape, Michael Joseph Fury, manicurist. It's a beauty salon, correct? Yes. They can do your hair, nails, toenails, you name it. And this really cute girl here also. Is it true that you're thinking of doing the very next gang bang going for 350? No. Damn, damn. <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay, guys, good luck. We'll talk to you all individually a little later on. And smile. It's supposed to be a fun event. Why don't you smile? There you go. You smile. I don't see a smile on your face. It's a fun event. They want you to have a good time. But you find, as usually today goes on, you'll see the guys are coming right at you. They're really well behaved. They're really happy to be here. It's very exciting for them. Um, so, yeah, you directed the first one, the Annabelle Jones one, correct? Right? Um, now, is this going to be like an annual thing that they want to try and continue to talk? And we'll see. We'll see. I, 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 but I don't want to turn it into the Olympic Games. You know? <laughs> I think it it really it requires the right the right person and the right uh, just just the right feeling. It has to be a girl that wants to do it. It has to be a girl that's appealing enough for people to want to travel halfway across the world. So you know we'll see. We take, we take one thing at a time. It's uh, I thought we were only going to do it once, you know, and then because we did it. Jasmine decided she wanted to beat it by herself, and then I met up with her because she was already trying to beat it. So we'll see. You know, right now I have two or three girls that say, "Oh, you know, I want to be the next one. I want to be the next one." I don't want to make any predictions. I don't want to make any promises. You know, we'll just just see where it goes from here. You know, where does it end? I mean, this is the. I mean, you know, do we have the fifty thousand? I don't know. You know, we'll, I mean, there has to be a point at which no woman can can go any further. So. How long do you, you guys anticipate it's going to take to go for 300 guys? 12, 14 hours, I'm, I'm figuring. And There's no rush. Now, how are they going to do that with Jet? Just she, she's got like certain break periods in there? Or? What we do is we send the guys up five at a time so that we keep the, the, the feeling of gangbang. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, whenever she's feeling tired or she wants a break, we'll take a break. Like I say, there's no rush. The guys are here. They're not going anywhere. Nobody's got uh, work tonight or anything. So, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty much a party atmosphere. It's, you know, just have a good time and see what happens. Now, did you have to prep uh, Jasmine at all? Give her any sort of tips or advice based on... You know, it's real difficult to give a girl advice on how to fuck 300 guys. <laughs> I mean, what do you tell her? We have no experience. She's, I mean, she's nervous, which is to be expected. Um, I think she's excited. It's been, it's been a long haul. You know, we decided to do this eight or nine months ago, so... It's, it's like finally it's here after all of this effort. She's out, so it's not, she's out of the, this is my last chance because she's out of the business. Oh my goodness gracious. Her all I gotta do is call me. I'm just a phone call away. You know, uh, I told these guys you have a choice. Either you guys can line up and fuck Jasmine or hear me crack some jokes. <laughs>